Hey guys, we're back. We're starting a new series up. It's called So I Play. Basically, I'm trying different games out because my Steam library is getting kind of big. So there's a lot of games I want to try out and just, you know, give you guys a little rundown on them. Not really review, just us having fun with games and see how it goes. But first game I'm going with is Iris and the Giant. But it's a roguelike card game, which I love roguelikes. If you guys don't know, if you see me play on Twitch, I love roguelikes. But the general story, it's light spoilers involved. Is about a girl who's going, you know, basically a, a grade school level kid and she goes through uh, traumatic experiences and her dealing with her issues. She goes into a labyrinthine world. She reads a Greek mythology book and, you know, she's technically facing her demons, which is like her traumatic experiences and all the stuff she has to deal with. And basically you use cards to fight these things. So this is basically her overcoming herself. And it's a nice, cute little roguelike. The art style is really unique in itself, though. If you played anything like Slay This Fire, you will probably understand. Like this, it's it's way more, It's it could be just as complex, but also not as complex because there's lanes. Instead of you just fighting one set of enemies, they're separated into three lanes on each floor. But there's a plethora of different cards you'd use, like physical cards, magic cards, each of them giving you different abilities. Your will is basically your life and you have to keep that up to survive. And if you run out of will, basically, you will die so you have to constantly get new cards because they don't refresh refresh unless you get get new cards from killing enemies or chests so you have to actually be very strategic about this but there's a lot of other factors in the game that gives the game a lot more depth like as you kill enemies you get stars in which you use to level up and gain different powers determination optimism will and they all give you like little buffs like if you get a sword or something you get one will so one life every time you grow one so there's other there's other mechanics in it there's also special assault powers you get from getting picking up stars from killing demons that give you even more specialized abilities that work on cards and there's also another mechanic called memories that you you basically get see iris's memories in the real world and they give you buffs based on the memories that you acquired and also you just insight into some of the traumatic experiences she goes through and how she deals with them and the other mechanic would be the imaginary friends that she you can use but you have to meet certain criteria to get them like the magic the imaginary friend i got which it allows you to get an extra turn if you kill an enemy with an hourglass over its head but you have to meet specific conditions to unlock the imaginary friends but overall iris and the giant is a cute little roguelike i think you it will be a nice uh change of pace to a lot of the games you play you can take your time and enjoy it and it gives a nice story about a kid you know overcoming her fears and facing her internal demons and learning to grow up and you know as a person it's really difficult but let me know what you guys think like sub share follow me on twitch.tv if you guys want to know and i'll see you guys in the next video and let me know if you guys want to keep up the series so i'll see you guys later